Okay, so we are going to be doing the claw assembly at this point, and uh, I was debating on whether to show you this or not because I struggled with this a little bit, but to get these uh, these screws into the claw assembly, I've developed what's called, what I'm calling the chopstick method, and that is where you pick up your screws using your uh, torque wrenches as a chopstick. works very, very, very well, uh, as you can see. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just get one of these in, okay, we'll actually spin the motor right onto it here, you should see a little bit ambid, little uh, dexterity is needed to get this done, it's funny because the kids will be able to do it in a second I'm sure. Um, Okay, so I get the second screw, the motor on there. Okay, and there we have it. The motor is screwed on to the um, to the assembly. Notice that now we have two screws underneath there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and slide on. Uh, we have a collar beneath. We have our um, so we're going to slide on one at a time here. We got our. Uh, um, gear that came with the assembly uh, first. Okay, that slides into a collar on the way to your uh, motor. Okay, the most interesting thing from this video is going to be that chopstick method. Uh, I really suggest you use it. Okay, a um, little difficult to get the um, the square uh, shaft into the motor here. Um, Okay, so we're going to take a couple times here just to do this. Gonna pull this back out and get the shaft on there. Okay, finally clicked in. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the Delrin bearings on. Uh, and then we use these two, these plastic pieces are another one. These these actually fit right in with each other. So you have the, the piece that fits inside and then this piece. So they fit just like this and then they click in to hold, um, if you can see that. So we have the two pieces there. So we're going to just go ahead and put those in here. And in the interest of time, I am going to uh, tighten up uh, the shaft very quickly. Okay, and there we have it. The claw assembly is put together. Okay, so there's your finished piece.